What actually happens when you play a Bloody Mary? Let's find out. Welcome to Dark Game. Good evening everyone, welcome to a new series I'm starting called Dark Games, the show where I play games that have their roots in the terrifying and the paranormal. We're kicking off the series with a classic, Bloody Mary. The rules of Bloody Mary are simple. First, find yourself a mirror and a place to play the game. For the best results, the room should be without any windows. This way, you can get the room as dark as you possibly can. You'll also need a candle and a way to light said candle. Turn off all the lights in the room, place yourself in front of the mirror, and light the candle, placing it in front of the mirror after it has been lit. Look yourself in the eyes while in front of the mirror and begin to chant the name Bloody Mary. There seems to be some discrepancy on the proper amount of times needed to say the name to satisfy the rules of the game. The number I grew up with was three times but I've heard five and ten times as well. I will be attempting all of these in this video. Speaking of which, without further delay, let's play the game. All right, we're here in my bathroom. This is the room I decided to choose because I can make it the darkest in my entire house. I have my candle here, it's already lit. And I also have a second camera over here, uh, which I don't have a night vision camera, unfortunately. Um, but I, turn, I cranked up the ISO on this camera really high, so hopefully you guys will be able to see something. Um, but without uh, any more delay, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's play Bloody Mary. Okay. Turn off the lights, switching the camera. All right. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yep, nothing's happening, <laughs> which is kind of what I expected, but that was just with the three times. Let's go ahead and move up to five times. Three times I started with because that's kind of the times I grew up with, um, but uh, let's move to five times because maybe I grew up with the wrong rules. Maybe that's why it's never worked for me. So let's try it again. It's extra creepy right now, actually, because there's a lot of wind outside, so we need a lot of background noise. All right, here we go. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yeah, I don't see anything. <laughs> like, I don't know if, I've, if it's possibly gonna work. I don't know if I'm just not waiting long enough or what, but not seeing anything. Okay, so let's try one more time, this time with 10 times, because that's kind of the largest amount that I found online. Um, and uh, we'll see if maybe that will do anything. I won't lie to you though, it is kind of a spooky experience. It just kind of, be here in the dark with the flickering of the of the uh, candle and saying these over and over again while staring in myself in the face. I think that's what gets people to see something is it just kind of slikes them out and freaks them out a little bit. But anyway, let's move to 10 times. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Gonna wait a little bit longer. 
this one. Yep, it's not working. <laughs> All right, well, nothing happened. <laughs> but let's go ahead and talk about that. So, nothing happened. I believe I followed all the rules to the letter, but if I did miss something, let me know in the comments. So, if nothing happened to me, then how does anyone else get some kind of paranormal experience? Well, I think I touched on it a little bit in the bathroom, but I think it definitely could be people psyching themselves out. Think about it. You're in a dark room with a candle as your only source of light. You're chanting something over and over with the goal of making a dangerous ghost appear in front of you. And you're completely alone. I think most people get a little anxious and start to react to every little noise and sound that happens in the room. But there is also a more scientific explanation. There's a phenomenon called the flashed face effect that could possibly be the culprit of our Bloody Mary. You see, our brains are fantastic at taking in the information from our eyes and translating it into something that we understand. But it's not perfect at it. A lot of the times when our brains don't have enough information on what we're seeing to make sense of it, it does its best to fill in the gaps. And this can lead to interesting results. Take this test, for example. Stare at the dot in the middle of the screen, but also pay attention to the two faces on either side of the dot without taking your focus off the dot. You should see the faces begin to warp into frightening images that barely resemble a human face. And I believe that this effect is coming into play in the Bloody Mary game. For the game rules, you're told to stare at your reflection in the eyes. This puts your eyes in focus, but the rest of your face in your peripheral vision. After staring for a prolonged length of time, combined with the flickering of the candle, recreates the flashed face effect as your brain tries to fill in the gaps on what it's seeing. But of course, the simplest explanation of all is that anyone who says they had an experience playing Bloody Mary could just be lying. Thank you for watching Dark Games. If you have a suggestion for a future game, let me know in the comments.